Hey, my friend, this is Mike with the Grill Cleaning Pro. Hey, I had somebody ask me today, um, how do you dump your tank? Where do you dump your water? What do you do with the water once you get done cleaning the grates? Um, whether you have a dip tank or you take a, a, a bin with you to the, the customer's location and you, um, you know, fill it up while you're there and um, clean the, the, the grates uh, in the backyard with you or, or take it to a tank uh, in a trailer or whatever and, and clean it there, you have water at some point to dispose of. So the question is, what do you do with that water? Where do you dump it? Now, um, I'm going to rephrase that, that question a little bit, and I'm going to say, where do you dispose of the water? Now, when I, I know this isn't what they, were, what they were referring to, but when I hear the word dump, I'm thinking of something illegal. Um, and that's not what we're doing. We're not dumping uh, illegally water somewhere. Now, I can't answer that question for everybody across the board, but you know, say for me and me and my, my business, we are not illegally dumping our water anywhere. Um, our tanks are, are filled with nothing but um, uh, water, dish soap, and uh, just a little bit of degreaser. And um, that's typically what a lot of other grill cleaners um, use in their, their tanks. Um, and after, we, we clean our tanks out every two weeks. Um, some would say that that is very excessive, but for me and my team, that is uh, about the, the perfect um, amount of time that uh, we want to keep the water into, uh, into our tanks. Um, after about two weeks, that water gets pretty disgusting sometimes. Um, there's a lot of sediment in there, and um, uh, you know, if you do some smokers, it's very greasy. Um, very brown very dark and then so we clean it out every two weeks and we just find that that every two weeks uh, the solution just starts to um, uh, degrade and, and makes it a little bit more difficult to uh, uh, clean the grates and so forth and um, so we refresh our, our system about every two weeks there are some people out there some grill cleaners out there and you know who you are that keep your solution in there for months I'm not joking for months and after a while that's going to turn into a chocolate soup and it is going to start smelling putrid I hate the smell of, wa uh, of, of dirty water from a dip tank that has been sitting too long the smell is disgusting so I'm going to clean my tanks out on a uh, uh, regular basis uh, for, for all of you that, that keep your your tank um, your solution in your tank for for months hey I'm not gonna judge you it's your business um, but anyways um, the water in the tank it, whether you take a bin to the backyard one thing I would suggest is um, because I have a dip tank I can't answer this um, uh, across the board for a lot of people on when they take a bin to the backyard and um, they fill it up with water and put the, their grates in and do all the, the cleaning of the grates and everything right there at the grill. I don't necessarily know what everybody does. Um, I don't know if they just dump it in the yard. I don't know if they uh, put a lid on it, try to uh, you know carry it back to their vehicle. Uh, I don't know what they do. But I can tell you this, be cautious about just dumping water that has grease from the grill into their backyard, especially if they have dogs. The dogs will go searching out for that smell, trying to figure out where it's coming from, and they'll start digging the yard to get to that smell. So just be careful with that. Um, find out from the customer if you can dump it and where to dump it, and um, um, you know, let them know it's just just water and, and maybe some dish soap and whatever else you put in there, and um, you know, just. Um, just be cautious of that. You don't you don't want someone a customer calling you up and, and complaining that their dogs um, went crazy digging up the yard because uh, of some smell of of, of uh, grill um, leftovers. So um, when you are um, cleaning out your tank, and I'm going to use the word dispose of. When you dispose of the water in your tank. Um, Find out in your local area what the what the, the the what the the laws are about just pouring the water out wherever that may be. It, it, some some places um, uh, will fine you if you uh, dump it down the drain, uh, city sewer. Um, you know, some people have to take their 
their uh, trailers and their uh, tanks to you know local self serve car wash and, and work with those owners and, and um, um, dump them there or at a RV dump station um, you know down their their toilet I don't know um, in, in the rocks next to the house I don't know whatever um, your area basically dicta dictates for um, waste find out what that is and follow the rules and, and regulations of your area um, I would hate to hear that anybody got fined for illegally um, you know disposing of the water and being accused of dumping um, you know we don't want to do anything illegal again so anyways I hope that helps I hope that uh, um, answers some questions that um, you might have had about all of the water that we deal with in the tanks um, sometimes it can be a lot of water so I have four tanks and each one has about 25 gallons in it and I've got to uh, dispose of it um, every two weeks um, so um, you know find out in your area what to do and um, follow those laws